What's up guys? Welcome back. This is the second part of the GoCauli crawler series where we're building a crawler using the GoCauli library. Uh, so GoCauli is a nice package uh, in Golang that helps you crawl websites. So uh, in the first part of this uh, video series, we had, we had uh, laid out the approach that we're going to use to be to write the code. And so if you've not seen that uh, video, I highly recommend you go check it out. If, if, if you've seen it, then you can probably completely optional, but probably you can open it up in a uh, different tab and refer to the diagram so because when when i write the code and if you are referring to the diagram it will make a lot of sense to you uh, you know you'll understand it really well uh, so anyways i'm on my terminal and if you are on windows powershell or mac terminal doesn't matter i'm in my open to terminal the commands will almost be the same so i'll go into my uh, directories where i keep uh, most of my go code and here i'm going to create a directory for uh, Kali project which we're going to build right now so I'll CD into my Kali project and here I need to create my go mod file so I'll say go mod in it uh, github.com slash akhil which is the username and slash name of project which is Kali project or crawler or whatever you know so this uh, will initiate and create my uh, go.mod file and uh, this link helps me to give an absolute link to my project so that I'll be able to refer using this link my other files in my project uh, for this particular project we don't have other files we just have the main.go file because uh, we don't have to write, write a lot of code because a lot of uh, you know creating channels and routines and all of that part uh, the heavy lifting is already done by go Kali. all right so we don't have to write a lot of code to even to scrape IMDB which is a big site and uh, so that's why we'll have only main.go so it's not required but it's a good practice so i'm just going to go ahead and do that so it has created my go.mod file all right and now i need a package uh, so i can i can uh, either install this package later on in uh, uh, when i'm running my project or i can uh, do this uh, at the beginning so i can say go get i need a golly package the golly package obviously right so it's the link is github.com slash go golly slash golly all right, so I'm just making sure if it's right. Yes, it's right. Go get github.com, go Kali slash Kali. And now it's going to hopefully install the Kali package. So it has done that. It has added the Kali package for me. All right. And these are all the dependencies of the Kali package. Just uh, you know, letting you know in case you're <laughs> you know scared why, why did Go query or HTML query, all of these packages, how did they come from? So they're basically dependencies of the Kali library. So now let's go ahead and open up our project in v uh, Visual Studio Code. You can be using any other code editor. It doesn't matter. I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, I already have my Go mod and Go sum files. Now what we'll do is we'll create our main.go file. And uh, in main.go file, uh, you have to have your uh, package main, your import statement, and your func main, right? So let's create those three things. So we'll have our package main, our import statements. So what all will be we be importing? We'll be we need fmt the format for uh, printing out files. We need log to log out errors. We need strings to be to be able to work with strings. We need encoding slash JSON to process JSON data, and we need flag. And we need obviously the package that we just installed, which is go Kali slash Kali. All right. So our import statement is done. Now what we'll do is we'll create our func main. All right. So inside func main, we'll create our month and day. So uh, the thing is that we want to call a function called crawl. So we'll have a crawl function, right? And we want to call that function using month, comma, day, right? Which are basically, um, we'll we'll get this output, we'll get this input, sorry, from the users, right? The month and date, we'll get it from the users. And uh, the crawl function will basically accept month and day, all right? You just need to remember that for now. And what we'll do here is we'll create our structs. So uh, we want data in a particular format, right? We want the movies from 
uh, you know, from IMDb, and we want stars. So we want the stars, and then we want the movies that they've uh, worked in. So that's why we'll have a star struct, and we'll have our movie struct. In the star struct, we'll have name, which will be string. So basically, these are the values that we'll be scraping from the website, okay? And we'll have a photo, which is string. So that means we'll have ordered structured data. That's why we create structs whenever we work with scraping. And then we'll have job title. So it's not only going to scroll, IMDb is also going to scrape some data from it, right? So we'll have the job title of that star. We'll have the birth date of the star. And we'll have the bio, which will be another string. And then we'll have top movies, which will be a slice of type movie. And movie is something that we're going to define here, right? Movie will have title, which will be string. It will have year, which will again be string. All right. So far, so good. And let's create Let's at least write the outline of our crawl function. And as you know, crawl takes in month, which is an integer, and day, which is an integer, right? So for now, um, I think we'll end this video out here, right? So we have written our structs, we have defined our import packages, we have created our main.go file, we've imported the GoCali package, right? So we've done quite a, quite a few things. Now we'll start to flesh out the funk main and funk crawl functions in the next video. Stay subscribed so that you know when the next video is coming out, which will mostly be tomorrow. You'll get the next video tomorrow. And just stay subscribed to this channel and thanks a lot for watching.